This is K Critiques. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of K Critiques where we discuss all things South African television. Now in today's video we are discussing Yang Yen season 1 episode 10 to 12. Starting off with the Kaya. So in the previous episodes at the Freshers Ball we saw Kaya basically insulting Mr. Ramatuba and this morning he's training on tiktok he sees the video and he is full of regrets as he should be usafago because he was there he thinks he might be an accomplice so he's scared of getting expelled which is also understandable and he's like listen kaya until this whole thing blows off i don't think we should be seen together so he distances himself ukaya now realizes you know what I really messed up this time like i've messed up before but this time i really did a number on myself and on the girl's side we see that a pregnancy test was found in the bathroom everybody suspects that it's bushes like literally everybody's like this is bushes pregnancy test the rumor mill must run very rampant in the school because the guys literally found out about the pregnancy test the same time as the girls and Simba brings it up to Kaya and I'm like why is this guy so obsessed with Kaya like why are you so interested in Kaya's life what he's doing and stuff like that like is he jealous or does he admire Kaya like what's going on so then Kaya's like nah that's not that that's not my baby me and her use protection every single time we do the deed right Amo on the other hand she suspects that it's Zintle's child and she wants to go and tell miss pearl about this whole thing zinclair already told you to leave her alone like why are you still bothering this like the person or the quote-unquote victim in the story said leave me alone you're only coming into my life with bad intentions like stay out of my life so why are you still obsessing over this we see the principal now coming after the freshest ball to come and search amo's room only Amos side not Bushe's side they even tear up her teddy bear and everything and she gets called into the principal's office so i think zintle went and told the principal that look amo found out about us and so the principal just wanted to see if there isn't any proof that they could find so he disguised it as a search now she's at the principal's office and the principal in was like listen in your previous school you were doing well i've seen your report but in this school you don't seem to be doing that well your grades have dropped and she promises to do better she wants to still go ahead and expose the principal even though zinkle literally went to the principal and told them that listen amo knows about us principal Mtembu literally just threatened your future because he was like i don't know if you're gonna do well in the school because you seem to be distracted what's going on so he's literally threatening your future and your education as much as she's doing a good thing but she's not doing it for the best of intentions okay so then ukaya now kaya actually goes ahead and apologizes to mr ramatuba and he's like i regret my actions i shouldn't have spoken to you you're an elder and i should have shown you respect the clerk forgives him but he still gets called into the principal's office as he suspected i mean he needs to face the consequences of his actions he gets suspended and he needs to face a disciplinary hearing kaya's dad is fuming he's very pissed and he wants to beat kaya up and the mom is like not today you know and it's like hi baba not today and i'm like yo so the mom has to go through this as well i thought maybe we'll see glimpses of it but not like in stark reality like a whole episode or a whole three episodes just dedicated to us experiencing kaya's abuse along with him like this was so traumatic this was so so scary kaya was saying listen i've been trying at school and oh the clerk he picks on me he lies and he says that i'm innocent he likes picking on me and never did anything to him and even shows the dad his maths test the one that he got 62 percent on and the dad is like you want me to be happy over this where's the other 38 percent 
and still wants to beat him up but the mom intervenes right so now we are at the disciplinary hearing kaya still maintains his innocence his parents are trying to defend him especially the mom because the mom knows the consequences of kaya. like if kaya is found guilty or if kaya has to face punishment the dad is gonna beat him up the dad is gonna abuse him right so the mom is going extra hard to try and defend her son which is understandable the cleric literally pulls out his phone and starts playing the video as soon as the video comes out obviously that's the evidence that they need the dad sees red right kaya is suspended and they beg and plead for him not to get expelled so he just has to face suspension and then come back the following week as soon as they leave the principal's office kaya's dad goes off like he was a ticking time bomb and now the bomb is finally going off he asks him like you were drunk how much did you even have and kaya says i only had three ciders the dad literally beats him up in front of the students in front of the whole school now let's move on to Utumelo. so Utumelo is still mad at alex and i'm like why are you mad at alex when alex should be the one who's mad you're the one who embarrassed them you're the one who made them feel ashamed and it's like you ruined my reputation and i'm like your reputation what about alex's reputation right but alex does set him straight and tells him that you are homophobic and then Tumelo's like i'm gay how can i be homophobic and it's like safako's also homophobic and he's gay alex is like you have internalized homophobia and until you deal with that and all your personal issues i don't think you'll ever find happiness and peace within yourself because you don't even love yourself right and dumps him and i'm like that serves him right and we see now that he's out of options he wants to go back to sifako and goes and begs sifako and is like i love you you complete me sifako says i'll i'll consider i'll consider it uh, but in the end they end up getting back together but utumelo needs to follow certain rules back to amu so oh amu actually sees uzintle and the principal arguing she tries to go and look for uzintle so that she can find out more information and find out what's going on and help her but nobody's seen zintle zintle hasn't been in school she goes to zintle's room and finds her bleeding a lot and she's in pain and she's like it's just my period only for amu to discover that uzintle actually went to an illegal abortion clinic and that's why she's in pain and i was like listen you're gonna die if i don't call for help right now and zintle gets taken to the hospital at the end of the episode okay zintle is in the hospital and i feel like the baby is gonna survive they're gonna be able to run dna tests and actually find out that it was principal mtembu's child i really do hope that he does get found out because this is getting out of hand the fact that she went to an illegal abortion clinic means that he probably forced her to go amo and kaya i doubt they're gonna get together so i feel like my prediction was wrong in that sense Tumelo and sufako are back together so sufako still might get out it please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below like this video and i will see you guys in the next one